In this blended tutorial I will show you how to adjust the audio volume level as well as fade to different levels or mute part of the audio. I've assumed you have a basic knowledge of editing in Blender. A couple of links for those that don't are included in the description below. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I've set this video up in Blender. I've also got it playing with proxies. Um, you'll need to do this if you've ever tried to use Blender. Oh, I'm not going to go into how I set this up. This is in one of my beginner's tutorials, but anyway. Now, if you're going to just want, if you just want to reduce the volume level, all you need to do is make sure the audio clip is selected by right clicking on it. And then in this section here, in the sound section, you can adjust the volume. You can either hold your left mouse button down and drag your volume up or down, or you can type in a level that you want. And that's all you need to do to uh, change the volume level. Now, if you want to fade um, part of the clip, let's say what I do play from here, then fade down, and then back up again, all you need to do is put a series of keyframes in. So I'm going to start at the beginning of this uh, clip. So we we'll start frame one. Yours may be diff may be different. So in the volume box, assuming you're happy with the volume level, just right click and then left click, insert keyframe. Now come along to the point where you want to start fading down. So I've killed the volume on this, so it doesn't. Um, go over the top of my voice but anyway get to the point where you want to start fading down and again with the volume level still set at 1 or whatever else you've set it at right click then left click insert keyframe and then decide where you're going to fade down to um, so you want to be coming down to fade so decide at what point you want to be at the level that you're going to reset the volume at so I've moved this um, timeline marker along and let's say you wanted to reduce it by half you can put what you want in just right click then left click insert keyframe decide where you're going to start increasing the volume level by moving your timeline marker along and again right click left click insert keyframe and then decide where you want the volume level to go back up to the original volume level change your volume so let's go back up to one and right click left click insert keyframe now if you watch this box here to the it's a yellow volume box. You'll see it gradually goes down to 0.5 and then gradually goes back up to your original volume setting. And you can do this as many times as you want. Obviously, it's easier to do if you can hear the audio. Okay, I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to remove the keyframes because I'll just show you how to mute um, part of a clip. If you want to remove your keyframes um, it's quite easy just right click on the volume and then left click clear keyframes. Okay well assuming I want to actually just kill the audio at a certain point. Now I could do this by just chopping out the audio but that, that can bring problems especially if you start uh, moving bits about where you uh, say you move your video clip and forget to grab your audio clip so the easiest way to actually do this is again make sure you're happy with the volume level um, and say you're at the start of your clip and then right click and left click insert keyframe come along to where you want to mute your audio and again right click and left click insert keyframe and then come forward one frame. Now you can either use your right cursor key, this is the arrow key on your keyboard, 
just hit it once and that will bring you along or you can change it down here and once you've done that and you're one frame forward from your last keyframe just type zero in the volume box right click and left click insert keyframe decide how long you want your mute to completely um, or how long you want your mute to last for and again right click and left click insert keyframe again using your arrow key or your right cursor key come along one frame and then adjust the volume back up to the original level right click and left click insert keyframe and you'll see that this literally kills it if you look at the box on the right again you can, say you can put in any variables you want um, or if you wanted to mute your let's say you're here instead of putting zero in you might want to mute it down to a very low level you can do what you want and that's all there is to it I'm not going to go into rendering as I said before I've got a few um, links to um, editing in Blender and um, got some other stuff if you're interested in my playlists so hope that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers <laughs>